So Chrome OS, it's not a bad platform in its own right, but it's not even a secondary platform on the market. And with Android getting a proper out and out desktop mode, probably in the next couple of months, the latest line of changes that have just been announced by Google for their web-based operating system certainly feels like Chrome OS is under threat. So yeah, let's get into it. Let's give some thoughts on why I personally think that Android is the future of Chrome OS. Before then though, Chrome OS is underrepresented on YouTube, but subscribe to keep up to date with all of Google's platforms right here on the channel. And yeah, cheers. So Google has announced a latest wave of updates for Chrome OS laptops, and it feels like I would say the last stages of an operating system looking elsewhere for inspiration. And I think it's immediately obvious to me that an Android future for Google's laptop lineup makes a lot more sense in the long term. For many, I think the writing has been on the wall for Chrome OS for a little while, and late last year, we reported that a full migration over to Android was potentially underway. Having spent a very fleeting period of time with the latest ARM-based Chromebook from Lenovo, I'm left looking forward or at least towards this inevitable change with a fresh opinion that this is not only a sensible move, but one that will make the next wave of Google powered laptops a better prospect for anyone that wants a competent desktop level interface, but with all of the benefits of Android thrown in. Sure, we're a long way from Android being able to replace Windows or Mac OS, but the building blocks feel like they're at least there or they're starting to get there. You can see that Android is undoubtedly leading how Chrome OS envelops functionality, the brand new circle to search or terribly named select to search with lens is not only lifted right out of Android and circle to search, but with touch screens, you could easily see this gesture becoming a more core component of Chrome OS. Sadly, it doesn't work like that right now, but credit where it's due, Google is adding extra utility or work-based functionality with things like text capture that can turn text in images to calendar events. The crossover really does work well here and that is something that I didn't anticipate ahead of time. While I'm of the opinion that Gemini still feels more at home in your pocket than on your laptop or a two-in-one form factor, I do think that's mostly down to how it has been integrated into the browser right now, rather than being an application or a screen with voice controls added in. Chrome OS is adding some elements of Gemini to these updates, but these are still more bound to the browser than they are on Android. And I can easily see this changing over the next 18 to 24 months, but Gemini powers are coming to Chrome OS like a de facto Pixel Studio in all but name. It's basically coming as part of an AI image generation feature with quick image insert as well. Image editing uses reimagine or something close to reimagine with text prompts working the same way as they do on your Pixel. I do think it's hard to argue that Gemini is helping unify these platforms. You can do a little more work like functions on the laptop form factor, but with windowing coming to Android with external display display also joining alongside rumored support for Chrome browser extensions on mobile, at least some point in the future. I do wonder if the addition of these functions to Chrome OS are simply preparing us for that inevitable shift over, slowly adding in mobile like features and tweaking these to work better on a laptop or two in one definitely makes the switch a lot easier for everyone involved. You can already see that in some areas, Android is definitely starting to try and court the Chrome OS crowd a little bit more. Mouse support is one of those. It isn't new in Android, but it has improved drastically over the past 18 months. But I do think it's keyboard shortcuts where there's the most potential to become a new power tool on Android. You can customize, create, and tune these to do more than you ever could before. Necessarily, or it's not necessarily as extensive as it could be, but it is getting there, and that's the main thing. The foundations are definitely laid there, and although it's optional, that's all it needs to be right now before we start to make this a more core component in Android. If it wasn't immediately clear based upon that short monologue I've just given you, over the past two or so years, there's been a big shift on how features have been added to Chrome OS. Android functionality is becoming more prominent on Chrome OS and not the other way around. I personally think there's now a greater emphasis on linking your phone to the hardware using that phone link feature while simultaneously making your laptop feel like more of an extension of a phone-based Google software or at least phone-based Google software and services. I do have a few gripes though. Getting Pixel features added to Chrome OS, I think it's great for consistency, but there is no doubt that right now they still feel more at home on the Android form factor not on a desktop where we are currently. We're just gonna need to see Google truly integrate these features with both mouse and keyboard input as well as they do on touchscreens. Right now, it's just a little bit too finicky properly to, or at least to properly integrate into what you're already doing on that traditional laptop form factor or desktop form factor. That said, fusing touchscreen controls and keyboard and mouse input has always been a really tough task. Chrome OS, I think it's done okay so far, but if Android is the future of Google's laptop efforts, which certainly appears to clear to me at this time, 
finding that happy medium needs to come pretty darn quickly. The latest Chromebook Plus 14 from Lenovo, which I actually had the opportunity to play with recently for a little period of time, feels like a true swan song for Chrome OS. It's using an ARM-based chip, and I have to say it reminds me quite a bit of a Pixelbook in more ways than one. If we're getting more ARM-based chips on laptops, I do think that next natural step is to just make the jump to Android, which, as we all know, is at home on ARM SOCs. High-end Android chips as well, they're no slouches these days, and I think the performance gap between Chrome OS and Android, especially at the, let's just say the low end of Chromebooks, probably favors most mobile devices these days. The bigger question is whether there are enough desktop level software packages or applications to help facilitate the switch of Chrome OS over to an Android base. And that has always been the biggest problem with tablets in general. On Chrome OS, the browser-based approach it does limit what you can do in a professional environment or setting, but a fully featured browser can still get you by in most cases. And a lot of you out there probably do spend most of your time in a browser anyway. I do think that AI and in particular Gemini might help this transition over, but I don't think it's going to be able to help you do things like edit videos or photos like you can in say Photoshop or Adobe Premiere Pro, for instance. I can't necessarily see a huge corporation like Adobe building dedicated Chrome OS applications unless it's simply a version of a stripped back web application or PWA. There's definitely more incentive to do something for Android as it can just scale across mobile tablet and therefore potentially laptop formats. And I'm predicting that on a pure install base alone, not even factoring in the potential for things like in-app purchases, the potential power of Android SOCs moving forward and all that kind of jazz. I also think there's also another issue at play that we need to discuss that could accelerate this big switch. The vast majority of Chromebooks out in the wild, well, to put it politely, they're likely woefully underpowered hardware and they're the kind of things that you usually see given out in schools to students and they just have limited capabilities that no doubt hurt the perception of what Chrome OS can and more importantly, can't do. Android on the other hand is much more flexible and I would say probably has a more favorable standing in the eyes of the buying public. An Android tablet can be in an, an entertainment device that can access a lot more capable dedicated applications alongside having a potential fully fledged browser in the future and the impressive power efficiency of ARM best, uh, ARM based SOCs. I think that's going to just going to be an easier sell than a rigid laptop or two in one that while no doubt are solid, just aren't as malleable for all situations. My personal experience with Chrome OS is that when the chips are down, I can't honestly hand on heart ever recommend the platform. I don't think that let's say high-end Chromebooks are worth it over maybe a one-year-old or two-year-old MacBook or even God forbid a Windows laptop. And I say that as someone who really likes Windows. As for an Android tablet or dual purpose device, they're just easier sells because they don't necessarily have to be your be all and end all. To me, it's a no brainer to make this switch and the latest set of features feel like the groundwork, at least preparing for that, or at least preparing the Chrome OS community for what I'd consider the inevitable at this, this stage. And I genuinely hand on heart, I think it is a sensible switch over. So Android on laptops and two in one tablets, I think it works. I think it makes a whole lot of sense and I think it probably will happen sooner rather than later. But I wanna know your thoughts. Is this latest update or if this latest update is the swan song for Chrome OS, then I do think it ain't a bad place to, for the next phase to kick off. Let me know what you think of this potential switch uh, down in the comment sections below. If you think it's a right move, do you like Chrome OS? Do you prefer Android, that kind of thing? Let me know. Yeah, it's always an interesting talking point, but I do think we're in for a wild ride. I'm absolutely sure of that. Cheers for watching though, and I will speak to you later.